Hello Pisces, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how this person is thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. So if you're coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. Um, and I do apologize, Pisces. I did want to get the reading out earlier, but um, I was in an accident over the weekend. Everyone is fine. Um, and I know just based on what happened that my guides and my angels and my spirit team were definitely present during this time. Um, so I've just been sort of resting, recuperating, figuring everything out um, with, with that. But I am very, very grateful for your patience. So thank you. Um, but let's get into this. Let's see. How does this person feel about Pisces? How does this person feel about Pisces? Okay, so we do have the Eight of Wands, so lots of communication here. We have the Fool, we have the Three of Pentacles. This could be someone that you work with here, Pisces. Um, could be an Aries, doesn't have to be. Someone wants to take a leap of faith towards you here. They're thinking a lot about reaching out to you, messaging you. I feel like telling you how they feel, just kind of going for it. Yeah, this feels like it could be a work situation. Something with the Three of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Nine of Wands. Hmm. Something with the Five of Swords. Three, four, five. Um, it doesn't have to be a work situation here. It could it felt like it could be there. Um there's someone here, Pisces, who wants to reach out to you, who wants to message you, who wants to let you know what's on their mind, but I feel like they are playing games with you. I feel like this is someone who's actually really got their guard up here with this Nine of Wands. I feel like in Five of Swords, I feel like this is someone who knows it'll be a missed opportunity if they don't just reach out. It's like part of them it's like part of them wants to just do it and just go for it not think about what it could look like or you know what you might think they just want to say what they need to say I'm going to pull on those but then there's another part of them here that feels like they're they're playing games a little bit here like it's almost like they want you to chase them so if someone's gone silent on you it's like they're waiting for you to reach out to them um whenever the nine of wands comes out like this wounded warrior it's like this is a protective measure Right, it's not, and that's not right. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's okay, but I feel like this person um, feels like they need to protect themselves from you in some way here. Like they, it's a like part of them who just wants to put their ego aside, put whatever aside, and just reach out, just message you, just go for it. And the other part of them is like their ego is talking, saying, you know, I want Pisces to message me first, or I want Pisces to make the first move, or whatever it might be. Um, it's a form of self-sabotage as well, which can, which stems from insecurity, right? Not feeling good enough anyway. So being like, well, I'm not going to reach out. And when, when Pisces doesn't reach out, see, I told you like, they don't want me anyway, but it's like, it's, it's childish, right? Um, but it is a protective measure. Um, we have to remember that a lot of us, even though we're adults walking around, we, a lot of us are stuck in like childlike mode right like there's a lot of trauma there a lot of and it's never to like excuse behavior it's just to understand it 
And so I feel like this person is kind of stuck a little bit is what I'm getting. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. Like, what do they want to say here? Page of Pentacles. Yeah, this person wants to, like, they're definitely curious about you. They, this could even some be someone I'm getting, like, wanting, like, a truce. Like, if you've been arguing with this person or there has been, like, a, a you know, kind of this back and forth push-pull with that Five of Swords. It's like, it's like a peace offering almost, it feels like. Tell me about the fool. Yeah. Seven of Wands, High Priestess. Yeah, it's like this, it's like this in the Pisces energy, Hanged Man. Yeah, it's like this person, like there is a part of them that wants to just come forward. But then their defenses go up with that Seven of Wands, High Priestess, and they just go silent instead. It's like they're just observing you. They're waiting for you to make the first move here, Pisces, is what I'm getting. So if you're in separation with someone or there's someone you could have recently like, um, got, I feel like there could have been an argument or just like a disconnect they're waiting on you but there is a part of them that wants to come forward that just wants to be like let's just be friends or like you know truce like let's get over it we're gonna see if they actually will but it's it feels how do I put that this person wants you to come towards them is what I'm getting Pisces basically it's like and, and maybe this worked before. Maybe when, if they would pull back and not message or not reach out, you'd be like, hey, what's up? It's been a while or, you know, everything okay or whatever. Like that's what they're looking for. And so if you haven't been doing that, Pisces, it's making this person like want to say, okay, let's just, you know, uh, let me just reach out. Let's be friends. Let's be good. Let's, you know, um, truce. Like I said, I just keep getting that. I don't know what that is, but but they're staying silent. <laughs> like it's like, hmm. So I guess we'll just see their actions and see what they're actually gonna do. But there's just someone here who's confused, I guess. They're thinking about you a lot though. Could be a fire sign as well. Aries, Leo, Sag, Pisces is here. Let, let's see their actions. Cause this person's like all over the place. What is this? Could be the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less. Could be a little more. We got the Ace of Wands. So they did. <laughs> and the Lovers. Gemini Energy. I always wish the camera could capture like... If I shuffle like this, it doesn't let me do it the way I want to. But that just flew out, basically. This person wants to come together here with you. Tell me more about the Ace of Wands and the Lovers. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, we're not going to take all of those. Let's see what I mean. <laughs> Tell me more about the Ace of Wands and the Lovers. Temperance, Sagittarius energy, the King of Wands. Okay, there's someone here, Pisces, who, yeah, Ten of Cups at the bottom. There's someone here, Pisces, who wants to just jump you, who wants to just like, and I mean that in like a physical way, like a sexual way. Like, I feel like there's someone here who's just like, just wants to go for it, just wants to like, let you know, come in hot and heavy, super passionate, this king of wands, this ace of wands, like this person's a charmer, I feel like they, they want to just go for it here, this person's very drawn to you with the lover's card, um, but temperance is here, this is patience, this is taking your time, it's like this person is, tell me about temperance, it's like they're, yeah, they're trying to be smart about it, king of swords, they're trying to take their time and you know not rush too much but at the same time this person is very attracted to you like I feel like so if you if Pisces if you're sitting there like there's nobody in my life I have no one no idea who she's talking about this person right away there's going to be a very strong physical attraction between the two of you spikes sparks are going to fly the lovers is here it just feels like you're sort of drawn to each other there could be a lot of like flirting going on um this person is very heavy in their masculine energy doesn't mean they have to be a male but it's just someone, who, they're like a go-getter. They're coming for you. It's like they they see you, it's like a beeline. Like they're just coming right for you, Pisces. Um, but they're trying to do it in a smart way here at the same time. Um, I have to be honest with you, with this King of Swords coming underneath the Five of Swords, it feels like there's a bit of a tactic at play here. Um, I have to be honest, I feel like with this King of Wands, I feel like this person's used to getting what they want. They could be very charming, very uh, alluring, very charismatic, very good looking, just very attractive overall, not just physically, but their energy. So I feel like this person, 
I just heard likes to run game at times. So just be aware of that um, because there is going to be a very strong connection between the two of you. And it's going to feel like you both just kind of want to just go for it, especially physically. I have to be honest with you with that Ace of Wands of Lovers. Yeah. Um, Anything else about the Ace of Wands and the Lovers? This person's actions. So I feel like this is going to come out of nowhere as well. With the Nine of Cups, yeah. There's going to be a really strong uh, desire for one another here, I'm feeling. I feel like... Um, and I feel like that's also why this person is like hesitant with you and like wants you to come to them because the way they feel is like you're like a dream come true here with this nine of cups, ace of wands, of lovers. Like you are exactly what they're looking for here, Pisces. So the fact that I feel like this person is used to getting what they want and sort of maybe others coming towards them, I feel like they're trying to like run their little game on you, their little tactic to see if it works, but to also gauge if you're just as interested in them as they are in you. Because this person wants to jump you. Like, they just want to go for it here. Um, but they're trying to present as, like, very, very sure of themselves, very confident, very, um, like, this, like, of course, they're attracted to you, but, you know, uh, whatever happens will happen. That's not actually what this person, this person's, like, I feel like they can't stop thinking about you. I feel like they're like, whoa, this is like everything. But they're trying to come off more calm, cool, and collected about it with these two kings here. Hmm. So, yeah, there's definitely someone coming in. Very strong connection here. Very uh, strong physical chemistry. The sparks are going to fly here, Pisces. Um, but I'm just, I'm going to see their intent. Like, I want to see their intentions because I feel like this person plays game a little bit here. Um, tell me about this person's intentions. Two of cups. Wow. The world, the four of pentacles. This person does not want to let you go. That's for sure. Two of cups. That's my soulmate card. This person, like, and it's coming underneath the lovers. This is someone who, this is the thing, Pisces. They might come towards you with just, like, this very sexual energy, this very flirtatious, very, like, you know, try they come across like it's all based on the physical. It's all based on the chemistry, the attraction that the two of you have. But in reality, it's much deeper than that with this nine of cups, of lovers, two of cups. Like this person wants you. This person wants union here with you. They want you a part of their world, a part of what's going on with whatever is going on with them. They don't want to let you go here. This person knows that I'm getting like four, like, well, the four of cups is there in their feelings. Like they would know they would miss out on a really good opportunity here with someone that they're not only very attracted to, but like, I feel like you just bring a level of, um, I just heard safety. Like you just, I feel like conversation flows easily. I feel like you get along really well. Plus there's all that chemistry, but there's just this thing like this, just like this person just is used to, they're not used to chasing. They're not used to the one having to sort of pursue. Um, so you intrigue them, I feel. But at the same time, I feel they're, they're also like, why isn't this working? This usually works with people and not Pisces. Um, so, like I said, if you're sitting there and you're like, there's no one in my life, there's no, there's, I have no idea who she's talking about. I feel like, you know, there's definitely communication coming in. There's, there's infinite possibilities to meet someone. Of course, if we're sitting at home and we never leave our house, um, that you can't really meet anyone that way. But, you know, you can meet someone at the grocery store. You could, while you're driving, while you're walking, while you're checking your mail, while you're, whatever it might be, right? There's so, there's infinite possibilities. And when it's soulmate energy like this, especially with the lovers here too, when it's this strong of a connection, you're meant to meet this person. There's no, there's no doubt about it. Um, soulmates are in our lives for a reason, but anything else about their intentions? The emperor, this heavy masculine energy. Oof. And the empress at the very bottom. We'll see if that comes out. But yeah, this person's like, they, 
It's like they see you, Pisces, they know what they want and they want to go for it. But at the same time, there is this sort of like ego thing where they're like, but I don't usually have to chase. I don't usually have to be the one to call or message or pursue. People do that with me. They're going to do it because they're very much in this masculine energy of like, I'm going to go get it, especially with this emperor. This person wants to step up, wants to show you, wants to come for you, wants to like take that initiative. They also don't want anyone else to to get to you before they do is what I'm getting here, Pisces. Um but it's just not what they're used to. But yeah, this person's coming for you, Pisces. So you're going to know because this person's going to be very interested. They're not going to let up. This person is not going to let up. What is the potential outcome? Death, Scorpio energy, the Hierophant, Taurus energy, transformation here, higher level of commitment, two of swords, but there's indecision. Do I go for it? Do I not? Do I trust this person? Do I trust what they're saying to me? That's kind of what's coming through here. The star, Aquarius energy, lots of healing here. The king of wands again. I feel like what's happening here, Pisces, is that this person is so charming and so um, smooth with the way they talk and how they approach you that they seem questionable like they're coming forward as the king of wands but i feel like you wonder if they're in the knight of wands energy which is player hot and cold in and out you know here today gone tomorrow could have options things like that i feel like this person has evolved um into this king of wands you know like i feel like they are someone who's very sure of themselves very confident very they know what they want and they just go for it but i feel like a they're not used to being the chaser they're used to being pursued themselves and b i also just feel like you're very different there's something different here i feel like um but but you're hesitant tell me about the two of swords you just don't know if you can trust it two of swords the Fool, Seven of Cups. Yeah. Do I take this leap of faith? Should I go for it? There's this, the Seven of Cups is emotional overwhelm. I, I feel like it's, it can also be options, right? Does this person have options? Do I want to put all my eggs into one basket at this time in my life, right? Do I want to give this person a chance? I mean, the star is here and the star is like hope and it's healing. And so I'm going to pull on this because maybe there's something specific that needs to be addressed. But the Hierophant is here. This is higher level of commitment. I feel like this person is going to let you know, look, I want you. I want you. I want this. You let me know. And it's you that's sort of a bit hesitant to take this leap of faith here. Because this person, how they feel is they want to take the leap of faith too. But, but there's, you could be mirroring each other. You could both be like, mm, I don't really know. Um... Feels like it's more you here though, Pisces. Tell me about the star. Tell me about the star. Won't be surprised if like the nine of swords comes out. Oof, look at that, the Empress. Perhaps a lot of you, Taurus energy here, or a lot of you are are, you know, working on healing that feminine energy, stepping into receiving. If we have been used to going and doing our whole life, having to get things done, having to make things happen you know, into being very independent, you know, not relying on anyone. Um, Pisces, if this has been, if that sounds like you and your whole life, that's how, just how it's been. When someone else comes along and says, oh, no, 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 like I'm going to step up to the plate. I'm going to come for you. I'm going to do all the things I need to do to make this work. It can be hard to sort of just sit back and let it happen, right? It sounds easy out loud, but if your whole life you've just been used to that masculine energy, I feel like a lot of you are, are stepping into this empress, stepping into allowing yourself to receive, right? Because this person's coming for you. They know what they, yeah. They know what they want, but there is a little bit of that, like, well, tell me about that five of swords. I don't usually go back, but I'm gonna do it. Tell me about that five of swords and their feelings. Two of Pentacles, back and forth. The Hanged Man, Pisces Energy, the Ace of Cups. Do they go for it? This is what I'm saying. There's a lot of feelings here with that Ace of Cups. 
but they're sort of back and forth too. I feel like, again, they're used to just sort of waiting and, and the people come to them. Their interests come to them. They don't usually have to pursue. They're going to pursue you, but I feel like it's also them stepping out of their comfort zone, taking a leap of faith a little bit here. You both are stepping out of your comfort zone in different ways is, is kind of how it feels. But you got the emperor and the empress. I mean, this is a divine match. This is a divine counterpart. So there is a good match here in a lot of ways. Um, I, it feels like it's just a matter of like trusting it, trusting, trusting your intuition too. Hmm. And if the narrative is sort of, you know, well, people don't pursue me. That's never going to happen. No one's going to come out of the blue and I'm not just going to meet someone who I just feel really good and there's chemistry there's no way I'll meet my soulmate. There's no way. Well, then so be it, right? Like we, like you're pushing it away now. We have to just know that it's coming for us, know that it's ours. And like I said, the, the universe has infinite possibilities for us to meet someone, right? We could probably think of maybe like four or five off the top of our head and be like, well, unless I do these four things, I'll never meet someone. But that's not how it works. The, when you're meant to meet someone with the two of cups and the lovers, it, it'll happen. What is yours will never pass you by. Write that in the comments, Pisces, if that resonates with you. What is mine will never pass me by. But let's see, who is this person? How will Pisces know? Ace of Wands, again. Someone that you're very attracted to. The Queen of Swords. They're very intelligent. The Page of Wands. They're very intelligent. They, they. I feel like the two of you have good conversation. I feel like they're very... Yeah, they're very smart. But there's also like this flirtatious sort of young energy about them. Very like spontaneous, very um, like flirty. Like it's like even though they're very mature, they still have this like youthfulness to them is kind of how it feels. Um, any advice for Pisces? The Four of Swords. This is all about protecting your heart and the Eight of Swords. Yeah, this is all about the mind. This is all about maybe thoughts racing right? A self-imposed prison, feeling like you have to sort of protect yourself, maybe over overthinking, right? Like analysis paralysis, like just thinking so much about all the things that, that maybe could go wrong or how it, how it's not right or just overthinking the situation. I feel like your, your advice is sort of just be aware of when that's happening, right? Of course, we all want to protect ourselves from getting hurt, but if that means not interacting with anyone and staying home all the time or just not giving anyone a chance it's like well we could be missing out on opportunities here too and trust me i get it pisces i love my space like i don't leaving my space is like uh okay this is like a big deal you know like i totally get it um especially when you've created a safe space for yourself but i just feel like spirit's asking you to sort of look into some maybe some of the thoughts that you're having because the swords are all about the mind right? And if you feel, uh, if someone coming after you and someone sort of like pursuing you and saying like, this is what I want is like, there's higher level of commitment here. This person wants to commit to you. I feel like, um, if that's sort of like a scary thought, it could be again, reflecting on the healing. I feel like it's like healing that feminine energy, being able to receive, um, let's see if anything comes out in the Kipper for you here, Pisces. Anything from Kipper? Thank you, Spirit. All three of these. We have Family Room, we have Imprisonment, and we have Courtship. So the Imprisonment right away is, is like this Eight of Swords. It could be. There could be actual Imprisonment, but um, to me it's like that self-imposed prison in the mind. We have Family Room and we have Courtship. So um, I definitely feel, like I said, courtship. This person is definitely coming after you here. The family room, I'm not getting too much from it. This could just be you just, like I said, staying in your space. Only letting those in your space that you feel that comfortable with or going into someone else's space, right? But there's definitely, like, someone's definitely coming after you, I'm telling you. <laughs> um, any messages for Pisces? hammer sabotage and rebuild persistent working on it repairing 
right? And we're always all working on ourselves, hopefully, right? It's never that there's always this strange like narrative that like you have to be fully healed before you meet a soulmate or something like that or, or someone that will come after you and pursue you and show you that they want like, but we're always healing. So it's really about finding someone who understands that you understand theirs journey as well. Um, yeah, we have grounding, stability and security, performance, growth and endurance. I just feel like there's a lot of like earth energy here. So this could be an earth sign, someone who is bringing out that groundedness, bringing it back down to earth, right? Instead of being in your mind all the time, thinking about things, so let's just be present here. Um, we have healthy choices, self-love and self-care, being happier, love and life. And you deserve that, Pisces, right? And some of us could be like, you know, I'm great on my own. I love being on my own. I, I do my own thing. Um, but there is someone here. There's a strong connection here. It's very... And it, I feel like at first it's like very uh, physical, but it's more than that. There's like, it's deeper than that. Um, we have forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So forgiving can be really hard, right? Because it can all, sometimes it can feel like, am I letting that person or those people get away with that? No, it's more about for yourself, right? It's more about forgiving past experiences, maybe even current ones, um, to allow yourself to feel fully, right? So there could be something here that you're still holding on to that Spirit's asking you to forgive. Um, and then we got change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement, right? So doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results is the definition of insanity, right? So if you're looking for a person or you're wanting to connect, but like I said, your routine maybe doesn't allow that to happen in a certain way. Like, like I said, if you wake up, maybe you work from home and then, you know, you order in food and, and then you don't leave your space. Like it doesn't really create a lot of opportunity for this person to come along, right? And to, to meet them. Um, so there could be some changes needing to happen too. Just, you know, reflect on that. Take a look at what might need to be adjusted. Um, but change is the only constant in life as well, right? We're meant to change. We're meant to evolve. We got look for a sign. I love this. I always say there, you can ask for whatever kind of sign you want, whatever resonates with you. Sometimes I've asked, I ask for like certain colors of things. Sometimes I ask for like something that sounds so outrageous, like show me a purple elephant. And sure enough, like I'll see it in some way, shape or form, right? So look for a sign. I feel like, um... You're going to know this when this person comes in, you're going to feel it, but there could be, you could ask for certain signs too. Like, hey, spirit, if this person is the one that I'm thinking about, show me a blank or, you know, uh, whatever it might be. We have don't let pride get in your way, Leo energy. That's that sort of ego, right? Of, <clears throat> um, well, I'm not going to message first or I'm not going to, reach out or I'm not going to say how I feel or I'm not going to do it. I'm going to let them come to me, right? This could even be for that person because that five of swords there. We have hold your vision. So if you were hoping for this connection to come in here, Pisces, it's definitely happening. Um, we have clean it up. So interesting. Capricorn got clean it up as well. So if you have Capricorn in your chart or you're dealing with the Capricorn, there could be a message in that reading for you. We got clean it up number 21 and co-create number 40. So let's see. 21. Time to clear the air. Take a look at your side of the street and say what's on your mind. Sweep away the old stuff so that a spring breeze can flow through with new energy. It's the perfect time to do an inventory of your dynamics and see what's yours and what's not yours to clean up the relationship. Everyone brings some baggage. Sort through what you brought with you and let go of what is no longer needed. There's that forgiveness as well. Become unencumbered and your relationship will flourish. So for those of you who are like, well, there's no one here yet, it could just be speaking to maybe there's still some things that need to be worked through, um, addressed, you know, uh, before this person comes in. And then let's read co-create, which is number 40, which is right before the soulmates card in this deck. So I feel like 
again, once these steps are sort of taken, that's when this soulmate comes in because they want union with you here. Um, we have connections of the heart serve to inspire you, opening you up to new ideas you would have never come to on your own. You are looking in a mirror held up by this experience and seeing yourself in an unexpected way. Who is this extraordinary being looking back at you? You are going to be so happy that you kept your heart open. Your love is a unique work of art now, the very embodiment of beauty. So really, again, asking you to open up that heart chakra there, opening up to receiving here, but also like working together with this person, right? You could actually work with this person with that three of pentacles, but the three of pentacles is also an energy of, you know, everyone plays a role. Like we're all important here. Everyone needs to work together. So um, that sort of speaks to this co-creation as well. It's so interesting because this dynamic is a cheetah and an owl. The cheetah can be like really fast moving, right? Like very powerful. Let's go. Let's get this done. The owl is wise and thinks clearly before doing things. So I feel like that's almost like this person. Like I said, they kind of want to just go for it, but they're trying to like be smart about it too. Um, that's how it feels. Okay, so these could be initials of you, of this person, maybe numbers you've been seeing, um, birth dates, take it as it resonates. But if something here doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't mean that it wasn't your reading. So we got C, H, A, N, A again, X, and the number five. Okay, Pisces, so I do hope something here resonated with you. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy. Sending so much love and light.